Okay, Keith here from Beat the Casino. Wanted to go on, uh, go ahead and uh, get you into some details of the all new uh, BTC Bead Road app uh, from Beat the Casino here, released by XDN. And I thought I'd go through and uh, go through some of the settings first to kind of get you acquainted with the app. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in shoes so that, not, not really shoes, but just demonstrate how uh, it, it tracks some of the patterns, uh, some of the traditional ones and then some of the new ones uh, that we found very interesting on Beat the Casino. So anyway, to start off, here's the, uh, here's the screen. Um, of course, uh, player banker input and ties, and then we'll get into the settings. But uh, to, to input uh, a, a score or who won the side, you just simply click on on the uh, side that you uh, want to input or whoever won. Now notice uh, blue is player and then the circular thing spinning all the time of course is the next potential hand. So I'm going to put two columns in so we can get to some patterns here. I'm going to leave that one. Well we'll put one more in. Now notice too on the far left before we talk about the spinners up here is a setting of what pattern length you're looking for down here at the bottom. Uh, so you can go ahead and toggle that between two, uh, three, four, all the way up to six if you'd like. Um, so we're going to set it uh, just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and set this at, uh, uh, let, let's, let's, uh, let's go down to two uh, would probably be the best thing so that we can see uh, a few patterns uh, and explain them uh, as we go through. So uh, just one more thing on the input. Of course we have ties. I have ties disabled right now and I'll get to the settings and show you where to enable that. Uh, we also have the undo link. If you uh, uh, quick click that, it undoes the last one. Uh, but let's put the players back in. Now I don't want to do it. If you long click on it, uh, it'll clear the entire game. So. Uh, that's what the U means up here. Okay, so first off, we have the pattern set at two. So you can see the spinners highlighting the pattern. And I just have it set to track horizontal patterns. And of course, it's telling you that, uh, in fact, the next play will occur here. But let's take a look at the uh, statistics here, if we could, first. Notice, uh, first, we have the hand count, which, of course, we've had 12 hands. Uh, we have the traditional beat the casino OR count, which is the opposite repeat count uh, from, uh, from the main road. So it's at minus 11 because everything is pretty much straight repeats in this case. And then we have continuous stops, which I'll get into here uh, very shortly, which is in reference to the bead plate. So let's go ahead uh, first off and let's make this a player. We'll, we'll say player won this. So we're going to go ahead and tap player. Now notice we're going to get some different statistics here just on the horizontal. Again, we're only looking at the horizontal statistics. I only have it set for that to start. Um, notice that the hand strength is 100, or I'm sorry, the horizontal strength uh, is 100% and the continues of the pattern. That's what this means. Did the pattern continue or did it stop? the pattern continued. Out of one possible time, this two in a row, it actually continued. So we have one to zero. Now, if this pattern would stop here, click banker, notice it continued one time up here and it stopped one time here. So that's what it tells you the difference. Now, the, the beauty of this one in the bead road is it's looking for disparity, which the bead road doesn't generally do. So that's what it's displaying. It's saying, okay, the disparity in this is pretty much zero. There's no confidence level at all in the disparity because it's dead even. Now watch this change. If I put player here again and player here again, notice the confidence score goes up to 50. And this is a score of disparity, not of a pattern. If you want to see how many times the pattern continued, you looked here, it's three and it's one time it stopped. Now, it's also going to make a recommendation here. It's saying, well, uh, because of the uh, disparity, 
uh, hand strength of a 50, you probably want to go ahead and bet on player. And again, we're just looking right here at the horizontal uh, type scores. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the settings, and I'm going to turn some other things on to kind of show you uh, some other statistics that it uh, looks at. Okay, so we're going to turn on the derive bias, the up diagonals, and the down diagonals. And again, we're not linking um, any of these at all. So first off, notice the up diagonal here, we have the pattern set by two, okay? So two, it's saying if this pattern continues, it'll be a player. That's the up strength. Now, when you enable something that you didn't have enabled, it, it's going to go back and look at the game and say, well, by the way, this happened two times it continued and zero times it didn't. So it's looking for up diagonals that were longer than that two or more in length. And of course, it happened here and it happened here. Now, diagonals aren't, aren't that easy to watch. That's one of the things we added. So here's the other diagonal. And again, it's easy to see how many times they continued, but what's hard to keep track of is when they stopped. Okay, so let's 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 put a, a banker here so that the pattern actually stopped. Now notice again too, for the up diagonal, it's given a confidence level of 100 and it's recommending player. That's what the green means here. Here the horizontal strength is at 50 and it happened three times and, and stopped at one time, but it's still recommending player. But I'm going to put a bank in, the, in there. Okay, so now... You can see the confidence level has dropped. It went two times and one time it stopped. Here it, it continued three times and stopped two times. So that's how it tracks the up diagonals uh, with respect to the bead row. Now, one of the things that we've added to this, which we find we found uh, very interesting, okay, is let's go ahead and enable link. And when you enable link, it's going to go ahead and look at the diagonals continuing across all columns. Take, for instance, this one. Okay, so let's put a player in there. Okay, there it continued. Let's put another player in there so we get it continued. But notice now this here. You don't see two spinners on this up diagonal. What it's doing is it links this diagonal to the previous column this one okay that's what it's actually doing right here this here continued from this diagonal so that if i turn it off watch th these two here that are spinning will go away see now we don't have any up diagonal uh even too long because it eliminated this one. So it's important to understand that the up diagonals, and, and some of the things that's very easy to miss, that the up diagonals in the bead road, if you like to play patterns, continue from one column to the other. They just don't start and stop within the, the in the uh, uh, the time, or the, yeah, the, the hand frame, so to speak, of when the diagonal or when the uh, bead road six ends. They continue previous to that. So let's turn the linking back on. Okay. And you'll see here that the up diagonal is listed there. So we'll go ahead and put player on. Now also too, we turned on, uh, if you remember correctly, derived bias. Okay. So the derived bias, if I turn it off, and go back, notice there's no derived bias that it's telling you here. But if I go back in and turn it back on, it's going to go ahead and make that recommendation from the derived statistics that the uh, the app calculates for you. So I like to leave it on. It's, it's a great recommendation. It takes into consideration pretty much all the statistics that the app uh, calculates and makes the recommendation there. So also to uh, the recommendation or the biggest, uh, the, the biggest confidence level and disparity will also be highlighted in green, which of course you see here, the horizontal bead road 
uh, according to the what happened previous with all the patterns, again, uh, is highlighted and it's recommending player. So we'll say player. Okay, and again, we get the derived bias. We have it linked. We're looking for the up diagonals. We're looking for the down diagonals. And we're looking for the horizontal. So I believe everything is enabled. Let's go back and check. Now, well, we can enable ties. We haven't input any ties. But it will track ties too. Now, don't forget, if we go over here and reset this the length to only show us things that are longer pattern-wise, here we have none. Now, if we undo this, this will light up. Watch. Okay, so, whoops, I'm sorry. It would be in the next column. Okay, so there's four. Now, now it's going four. Well, here's the pattern of four, I apologize. And then it's saying, okay, this is the next horizontal uh, on the prediction table on the bead road because it's met the criteria for four. Again, notice it calculated all the other statistics in too. Of course, we don't have enough for four, but as I input them here, you'll see them update. And here is the four down diagonal that it's calculating. So if we put player in here, it's going to update the statistics. It's going to update the derived uh, statistic. And it's going to tell you uh, that the next one is probably going to be right here on player. Now, again, where is it getting this? Because it's linked, it's linking the up diagonal from this column over to the next column. So we have one, two, three, four. There's the four up diagonals just continued over in the other column. Again, if I unlink it, this up diagonal recommendation or pattern has disappeared. It won't see that anymore. So that's why it's so easy to miss. So let's link it back up. It's very important, I think, to leave that uh, that way. Let's put it on player. And you can see then the up diagonal with a uh, pattern length of four. One time it continued, zero times it stopped. Now again, if we go ahead and we and we you, can, you know we put in just players so we can see the patterns. Okay, of course here we have one, two, three, four, five. Now if, if this continues, if I make this player again, it's going to go ahead and add the up diagonal. But let's make it banker now. And there we go. So it'll recalculate everything. Now if I change this down back to two, I'm sorry, it'll recalculate all the statistics again. And you can see it picks up a lot of the bigger disparities then. Like here, 11 times the pattern continued, three times it didn't continue. Now, we're putting in an awful lot of players, so that's why we're seeing this, obviously. But uh, anyway, it's very valuable. You can change what statistic you're looking for in the bead road. Again, we can add ties in the mix. And the app, once we put some ties in, There we go. And it'll calculate the statistics. Uh, of course, the patterns are harder to find with ties. Now, if you see here, uh, the up strength is 30, 13 out of 6. Now, if I, un, if, I, if, I dis, if I go in and disable ties, it'll recalculate the whole uh, uh, scoreboard again. So let's disable ties. And there it recalculated the whole scoreboard again based upon two with everything else without the ties uh, being being in. Uh, so it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, a lot of statistics to actually uh, look at. It updates the confidence levels. Uh, whenever you change the statistics, uh, if we take it up to three, you can see them changing right there. And there's the four. So obviously, the longer the pattern uh, the, the longer you set the pattern for uh, discovery, uh, the less and less uh, occurrences it's going to have on the bead road. So it's very interesting stuff. Um, you know, uh, the new thing is, of course, the derived statistics and also the confidence level that we have included here and the ability to set and recalculate each bead road. Uh, one of the most important things is it's easy to see the patterns that are horizontal, obviously, and vertically. Uh, the up 
uh, diagonal and the down diagonal either linked or unlinked. The linked is very valuable. And also, too, one of the things that uh, sometimes is hard to track is how many times did it continue and how many times it stopped. By looking at the bead road or the bead plate, whatever you prefer to call it, it's hard to calculate how many times it continued, especially on diagonals. I mean, you'd have to sit here and, and look at it. You don't have enough time, especially if you play online. So this will enable you to do that and also, too, with all the other statistics. Again, uh, you know, it's by Beat the Casino. It's by subscription. It's only 4 bucks, $3.99. Uh, you can set whichever ones you want to watch. Like some folks turn off the... Uh, uh, the horizontal uh, ones because they're they're obvious to see. But I like it because uh, uh, it'll actually count them how many times it continued and how many times it stopped. So that's kind of a nice thing. Again, you can set the uh, set the pattern length match in here and enable if you want to change the animation speed, you can do that too. So uh, the other thing, of course, here's where you manage your uh, subscription. Here's where you email us and you can email the game in uh, if you happen to be a private member of Beat the Casino. And uh, if you're a serious player, there's no reason not to be. Uh, you can email the game and then put it into the strategic Baccarat in interface uh, by emailing the game right here to launch uh, Google. So let's go back. And you see, it's going to go ahead and it's going to calculate pretty much everything uh, again uh, uh, with the two patterns. So there you have it. Uh, and again, two, three, four, five. Once it goes over six, obviously it doesn't uh, it doesn't calculate it. It'll only do uh, two or more now, or three, two or more, or th six and less. So uh, we'll see these come up again here. Oh, there we go. There we go. And there we go. So let's see what we have enabled here. Yeah. Uh, and remember, I turned off the horizontals. If I put them back on, you'll see it'll pick up these. Let's undo one for those who may have asked. I had, had the horizontals turn off as I don't like to look at them all. But here again, two this way, two this way. Or I'm sorry, two this way as the up and two this way is the horizontal. Here's the prediction. Here's the derived prediction. Remember your comparison continues to stop. The OR counts, the player counts, the banker count, what hand we're at, and continues and stops. So a very valuable tool uh, for serious Baccarat players. It's gonna give you the bead road in a whole new light. Uh, you can enable ties, you can uh, disable ties. A lot of flexibility. There's a, a couple new updates coming. We're gonna try to get the dragons and uh, pandas and some other, uh, you know, kind of longer odds bets uh, input into the uh, bead plate. So anyway, I hope you like it. Get it at Google Play, uh, $3.99. So uh, really valuable tool to have on your phone if you're a serious Baccarat player. So thanks a lot. Uh, this is on uh, this demonstration, just so you know, is on Blue, uh, Blue Stacks. It can be emulated on a PC if you want to download the free uh, Blue Stacks and load it onto your PC. You can load it once you buy it and subscribe. You can put it on as many devices as you want. Uh, so there you have it. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you sign up soon. So come on over. If you have any questions, email us. The link's below. Uh, come on over to Beat the Casino. Meet some of the players. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see us mostly on Tuesday nights for our live practice. This week we're going to have a special one. We're going to invite some non-members over to the private chat after we do the practice session and get some uh, interesting details that we talk about in the private chat to those players too. So see you soon. This is Keith from Beat the Casino. Thanks for watching.